years old. I mean, safe to say a top 10 draft pick right there. You would feel comfortable with yeah. that number for sure. And I think higher, but. <laughs> William again listed as number four among North American skaters in the latest NHL Central Scouting rankings. His team now with a chance. Jared Wright, who can fly. Good stop by Parson. The rebound, though. Banged home. The sophomore from the Twin Cities helping DU get off the mark first. It's 1 0 Pioneers, less than two minutes in. Well, an excellent job by Jared Wright. Look at this speed right here. It's a block shot, but then a good job just to move that puck up. And it's just all speed right there. And he does a good job of just following this up on the rebound. Lorenz is the one who makes the play, but right there just follows that up on the rebound. I think he gets uh, three opportunities. Pretty late hit, I think. That's what got the UND bench upset. Jamrenick hit his head on the ice hard and is now in the tunnel being assessed. Power play opportunity for North Dakota, though, and they have been fantastic with the man advantage here in the second half and against the Pioneers as well. They were one for two last night. Here is Bird. Another power play goal for North Dakota and Cameron Bird. He is as hot as they come. 11 seconds into the man advantage, and we're tied at one apiece. Wow, what a job here by North Dakota. Just 11 seconds. It starts out with a face-off win here. And look at Livin' Avage. What a great camera view this is in Berg. Just, this is a textbook how you run a power play. You got a big bar, uh, number 29, Koontz, in front of the net. Boy, what a job he is just continuing to do. He doesn't get points for it, but there's a... Ashcroft on the keep. Another battle on the wall. It has been a battle of attrition here in the opening seven minutes of the second. Not a lot of time and space. Ashcroft, uh, unfortunate time there. He was trying to scoot over and interchange with his defensive partner so he could get off on a line change and the puck popped right out to him at the point. Just a moment ago, Sam Harris was open in the slots. We got some tired bodies all of a sudden here. Yeah, Shai Booyam trying to take advantage of that. Divine. Back to Booyam down low. Rizzo in the Bill Harris, excuse me, 12 in the back of the nuts. Sam Harris, the freshman, one Simon, one high and in, and Denver regains the lead. Well, North Dakota just got caught with an overextended shift here, not unable to get the puck out. It's just a great play there and a one-timer. You get the goaltender down. Sam Harris doesn't make a mistake right here. Just one times that right over the glove. The Ch Chai Booyam, just absolute brilliant play there to not elect to shoot that on a sharp angle shot. Take the uh, just moving and shutting things down with his legs. Well, McLaughlin and now Blake again, both throwing pucks in front. James was the second intended target as he gets taken down now by Webster. North Dakota, a plus seven in shots, plus 15 in shot attempts. Perhaps another one coming. Jackson Coates, Davis the stop, but the rebound is banged home. The Grand Forks boy equalizes with 6.35 to go in the second. This is a heads up play by Person to hurry up and set that up and look at the job by Abram Weeb. Vision to find that stretch pass, taking a little bit of what Denver's been trying to do all night long to manufacture offense. And boy, what a job, Koontz. Stealing a little bit of thunder from the Jared Wright. And the equalizer, not the equalizer, the go-ahead tally. Bird blocked aside. Koontz again providing that net front. McLaughlin on off the bench for North Dakota now. Berg will head off as Schmaltz will join. Crowd on their feet. Limonovic in the slots. McLaughlin again. 150 to go on the power play. Blake. Another shot that just misses. North Dakota's actually changing their power play unit in one at a one time. At a time. Here. McLaughlin in the back of the net. Owen McLaughlin on the
North Dakota three, Denver two. This was a clinic by North Dakota. Didn't rush anything, sensing tired bodies. We're not forcing anything. Laird line changes in one at a time to keep healthy, fresh bodies out there. It was only a matter of time, and it's McLaughlin who puts North Dakota on top for the first time tonight with a huge power play goal. Still a minute 30. You see nine for the season as well, and like Jake said, Power play not over yet, still 80 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Well, for North Dakota, that sustained offensive pressure, as you said, so patient, waited, bided their time. Well, they realized they had tired bodies, so they didn't force anything to let them get puck possession yes. or create a chase for a raise to get a clear, right? And that was just an intelligent, it was a little bit of their four on four or three on three overtime on Saturday last weekend. Here's Pike now to Gaber. Looking for more! Reese Gaber! The captain! 4 to 2, North Dakota! Well, you knew Reese Gaber was uh, hungry for a goal. He had a couple good looks earlier on the first time when they were out on the power play. You just can't give him too many opportunities right here. They give him another one, and it's just, he's just too good from that spot. Reese Gaber, good job. Louis Jamernick, just a tickle in front of a screen. Watch him just kind of go right through there, does a little spin, and just that little tickle going right in front of the eyes of Matt Davis allows that shot to go through.